Abijay, season 6, episode 2. That movie for me has the fire. I mean, the, the movie reminds me a lot, and the movie began with a blackmail and ended on a high note. <laughs> the members of the African Traditional Council has come to visit themselves. They came through their chief. Yeah, you know the guy, the one who repented and later went back when they promised him a higher position. They have come now to visit Bamdele themselves. But then, Dedun's husband has started blackmailing Babidele's family. That part is, um, I don't know what to say, but it's really amazing to think that the devil can hold you down with anything as long as you open the door for him. That is something most believers fail to understand. When you open the door to the devil, he can go as far as blackmail just to bring you down. But there was something very good, like, not really good though, but there was a deep lesson to learn from that particular blackmail. In the sense that Dedun's husband was really blackmailing Bamidele. Was telling Bamidele, Bamidele was, yes, at some point, you know that, uh, uh, he was a little bit um, innocent and a little bit guilty. In the sense that he lacked the real power, the ability to say no. Yes, he lacked it. But then, they didn't slept over in his house. And sleeping over in his house, there was nothing literally he could do or he could say that the whole world, per se, would not believe that he was having an extramarital affair with Dedun. Let's take for instance, when you as a Christian gives room for a sinful atmosphere, there is nothing you can do to, to justify that particular actions or attitude. Even the Bible said, flee every appearance of evil or abstain from every appearance of evil at that particular time they just sleeping over in Bamidele's house was an appearance of evil which he failed to abstain from and the entire world does not or do not even need an explanation to understand that okay they just slept by your house does not actually mean that it has something to do with they do for the fact that they just slept by his house is under a great assumption that they had an affair that is one thing you need to understand the day, if, you, if you don't learn to abstain from appearances of evil around you, you realize that your world will crumble. Why? Because persons will assume you are um, laboring in the evil and nothing more. Now, they didn't not just sleep there, they didn't end up begin, uh, beginning to reap the consequences of not just her actions, but even the actions of the family members of which she claimed to have claimed upon. Now, see, for instance, she became a subject of carrying another man's cross. Sometimes, as Christians, we position ourselves in a place where we begin to suffer for what we would never know about. Then, honestly, would not even have been the person to have carried the pain, the sorrow that was brought by the African National Council. But because, you know, you understand now, she had to even shake the hand of the council member and she was not even born again. That was even a problem. She had an issue already with her salvation. So everything was already shaking. And then now what happens? She began to reap the consequence, began to suffer. Even the member of African National Council said, okay, you claimed to be the wife of Bamidele. Now you will reap all the um, uh, consequences of Bamidele's actions. And then now, see, so you have frail bones, your uh, uh, blood begin to dry up and everything. She began to suffer for what she did, she, she did not know. As Christians, let's learn to control our legs. As Christians, learn to choose the person that will be around you. Yes, I know for, for sure that her actions were wrong. Or her always coming close to the uh, family, knowing fully when the family was married in an extramarital affair was totally wrong. But if they do, was in her house, as at the day a member of the African International Society Council visited, she wouldn't have gotten what she got at the end of the day. Probably Bamidele would have got carried his cross. Why? Because at that particular time, Bamidele wasn't even born again. He had not reconciled himself with God. We all know the truth. 
He has other contractors. He has not even reconciled himself with God. So you, if if that man has shaken that day, Kaya, he was going to reap. He was going. To, he was definitely going to suffer from that particular action. Now, how about the new husband? He said he has started blackmailing them already. He's doing that particular action, and to think he actually went to um, dig out some deeds. He claimed to be the dirty deeds of um, uh, Mommy Boyega. Now let us take for instance, along the line, along the line, the actions of, um, uh, uh, of which he dug out for Mommy Boyega ended up turning around and reconciling him, uh, 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 Mommy Boyega, opening her eyes to see her wrong in the family. As a married woman, for instance, it is see the family. Everyone had their responsibility in the family. In terms of mounting the guard, everyone had responsibility. Dedu was wayward, but at some point too, Mommy Boyega displayed acts of waywardness. Let's tell ourselves the truth. There was no difference between her and Dedu. Dedu was doing her own in a sinful manner. Mommy Boyega was, on the other hand, was a positive woman, no doubt, but yet she was displaying waywardness as act of her positivity. She left the gate of her family home and was touring around the world, going for business seminars. We're not saying you should not pursue your career as a female Christian. We're not saying you shouldn't pursue your life ambition as a young woman. Nobody is saying that you should abandon your dreams and focus on just your family. What we're saying is this. Why pursuing your career, it shouldn't be at the expense of your family. Why pursuing a life ambition, it shouldn't be at the expense of your home. You have the ability to guard your home, to put it together. That was where Mommy Boyega failed. And when she failed to guide her home, Dedu, who was a strange woman, stepped in and destroyed what was meant to be protected. Now, this was something Dedu's husband made her to see. Dedu's husband kept comparing her to his wayward wife, Dedu, and she kept rejecting and resisting. We could not see how long mouthed she was, her tongue was so lashing and she was really very, very tongue lashing. But at the end of the day, she saw that, she actually saw that what she was doing was wrong. At the end of the day, actually, she saw it. And honestly, what she was doing was wrong. And then when she realized that what she was doing was wrong, she had to come down from where she hid herself. Sometimes, hiding or running away from your problems will not give you the solution. If more people got continued tying herself up or locking herself up in that particular room, would that have brought the solution? No. The member of the African Council is already on his way, planning to come to, to, to your house, to afflict your husband and your home, and yet you are locking yourself up in the room, suffering from blackmail. Like, it is, it is really very, very annoying. Like, she has to, she, she had to literally realize that, okay, it is not until I begin to sleep with persons outside that I have destroyed my home. There are some of my actions that, there are actions you take. See, it's not until you literally commit a particular sin that will bring consequences. Sometimes you take positive steps, but this positive step end up, end up bringing negative consequences. Why? Because you took the wrong step or you took the right step at a very wrong timing. As, as a Christian, timing is very, very important. Timing is very, very important in Christianity. And now when you take the right step in the very wrong time, you will flop. That's what happened to Mommy Boyega. She was taking the right business trip, but at a very wrong timing. And the funny thing, this is not even affecting her promotion. She was promoted, but these business seminars, she could take them virtually. She must not have to be there. And to sum it up, she could actually exempt herself from these seminars. But no, she chose to, because she was too conscious of her work, Forgetting about her family. And the funny thing is, Bobby Daly has fallen apart. He has so fallen apart from the fact that he, he, he lost every touch of Christ in his life. That's the funny thing to really start with. He lost every single touch of Christ in his life. And at that particular point, what he needed was a woman, a prayerful woman, who could pray, who could put the family together. Now, when the family is disunited, when the husband is going his way, the wife is going her way, I'm telling you that the devil will definitely penetrate. I don't even want to go to the pastor's side. The pastor is very spiritual, but how about the wife? The wife has sold herself to gossip. To gossip with her other sister. The one that keeps annoying me is Sister Bridget. Sister Bridget is so annoying. Sister Bridget is, is, 
a typical, a typical example of a church member, but yet still in the world. She's an epitome of hypocrisy. She's a bridget training in salvation. What did she do? The Sabrina keep feeding, keep feeding dating husband with every single wrong information that the family, every not even wrong, every single detail of the family's information. Dating husband knows every single thing happening in the family, and it's honestly very, very annoying. She's a bridget all the way from the US, feeding dating husband with every single information. Why would you be doing that? These are your church members for crying out loud. You should not be giving them every single information, giving outside of every single information you know about them. You know there's fire on the mountain, and I try to set more fire. The pastor's wife, a pastor's wife should have abilities as the pastor. Even if the pastor is not around, I know a pastor's wife is for the pastor, but even if the pastor is not around, she should have ability to pray, and things begin to come to pass. But no, the pastor's wife lost that particular ability. Why? Because she has shown herself to conscious gossip. Even if, even if she ties it up with spirituality or Christianity, but it's not meant to be so. It's not meant to be so. She sold herself to a conscious gossip and that particular actions of her began to affect the church. What am I saying? They doing was lying down there critical in the hospital and without her husband's presence, there was nothing, little or nothing that was meant that was to be done. Even the prayer she made for they doing, I don't want to say it did not work, well, but everything was truly annoying. At the same point, her spiritual senses were closed. She was just doing based on imagination. She was seeing what was going wrong. She knew what she was well, just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't just know where to, where, to, where to even place her at all at all. But, but if as a church, if as a person, that like your husband own a ministry or your opportunity to be a worker, a leader in a particular ministry, your contribution in that ministry cannot be overemphasized. Your life must speak if you want a total breakthrough in that particular ministry. Yes. Your life then must speak. The movie ended where the African member of the African Traditional Council has come to visit. Kai, the only saving grace for Papi Dele is that he has given his life to Christ. Yes, he has given his life to Christ. And that when, when I saw that scene, I was literally very happy because he didn't, I, just, I just thank God that he didn't live his life on hypocrisy. He has finally realized that he has to ask God for mercy. And then now he has asked God for mercy and asked God to protect his home. And when he was going to open the door, you can literally see him walking with a little bit of faith. Although it was obvious that he was scared. That was one. But meanwhile, Mommy Boy Ega is still locking herself up there. She has partially forgiven. Well, I don't know what she did. Probably she's praying. I don't know. I want to achieve she did something good. But Bami Delu has given his life to Christ. And then, Daddy. Yeah, Baba is praying. You know, this thing was happening at exactly 12 a.m. in Nigeria and it was afternoon over there in the US. So, Baba was in serious warfare. It was a warfare. Baba was praying and everything was, 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 was going on deeply and that was where the movie ended. <laughs> oh, see, it's, it, I don't know, but you see, in, in, in Christianity, if you want the hand of God to go with you, you should learn to keep in touch with 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 with, 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 with the grace. Alignment, alignment keeps the flow of the grace. That's what you don't understand. Yes. So if you must, you must keep in touch. You must constantly be aligned. Well, I thank God for for Bami Dele, Bami Dele realizing his actions earlier enough, and and I prayed. So now episode three will bring the warfare. Episode three will bring the warfare. <laughs> I'm already imagining. Yes, I'm already imagining what's going to happen inside of episode 3. I, I, I think I already see, I have a mental picture of what's going to be happening in episode 3. It's going to be a warfare there. Yes, it's either that guy is going to repent or he's going to die. It's, there are two ways about it. Is that he's going to repent or he's going to die? That's just it. But I'm already seeing what's going to happen in episode 3. And I want to believe that episode 3 will bring more lessons to learn and it will bring a lot of things. You will learn a lot of things. I want to believe that episode 3 will bring us more insights in the things of God. And at this point, I want to specially thank Pastor Mike Babiloye for the, for the grace to write this particular movie. I want to specially thank you, sir, Pastor Mike Babiloye, for God using you to write this particular movie. I want to thank everyone that participated in bringing this movie out. They have made our eyes open through this movie. God have blessed this ministry. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for, for availing yourself to be used by God.
Thank you so much. Thank you, the Mount Zion family. Thank you to all the cast and the crew. God bless every one of you. And God will keep on replenishing you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this this review of mine. Please leave a comment down below what you think is, is that, that what you think will happen or might happen. And then I'll be I'll be dropping a video of expectations for episode three. Don't forget to also like the video, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, because this YouTube channel God is taking us somewhere actually. And then. This is the part of um, uh, of niche. Yes, we will be reviewing gospel movies, and God really bless us through these particular movies and, and reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I am lost in Bakuri, and I love you so much, my returning subscribers. I love every one of you. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Bye bye.